The Human Resources Ministry has called in all companies facing U.S. import bans over suspected forced labor practices to discuss immediate action to address the allegations. Malaysian factories, which include major suppliers of palm oil and medical gloves, have been under increased scrutiny over allegations of abuse of migrant workers, who make up a significant part of the country's manufacturing workforce. In its latest move, U.S. Customs and Border Protection said on Friday it would bar imports from disposable glove maker YTY Group based on information indicating that the firm used forced labor, the seventh such ban on a Malaysian company in two years. The agency also determined that Malaysian palm oil producer Saim Darby Plantation Berhad uses forced labor in its operations and the company's goods were subject to seizure. Human Resources Minister M. Saravanan said he would meet with all firms facing import bans in the U.S., along with two glove makers, WRP Asia Pacific and Top Glove Corporations, that had seen their bans lifted by the CBP. The approaches implemented by these two companies can be used as guidelines and improvements for other firms, Saravanan said in a statement. He has also ordered an immediate inquiry into the allegations by his Ministry and Department of Labour and warned of stern action against companies that failed to improve their practices. The Minister had acknowledged that forced labour allegations against Malaysian firms had affected investors' confidence in the country.